This video is for Chapter 9, Section 9.3, for the math activity sorting by rules. We'll identify input and output sets and create sorting rules that are functions. We'll use attribute pieces. Attribute pieces are very specific. You can use virtual attribute pieces or find a printable copy of them at our website. In question one, six pieces have been sorted into two groups, A and B. On the left, there are three large pieces in A, and on the right, there are three small pieces in B with different shapes and colors. In part A, we ask you to sort the remainder of the attribute pieces into these two groups in a way that you think the picture suggests and record your sorting rule. Your sorting rule can be very simple. Now in part B we define a function. A function is two sets, the input set and the output set, and a rule that assigns each input to exactly one output. The exactly one output is critical. So you see we have an arrow diagram here from an input set with a rule to an output set. So is the rule you define for groups A and B a function? If not, resort so it is. Looking here, if I pick up a single attribute piece, one that's not already here, it should either go in set A or in set B, group A or group B. It can't go into both of them or it won't be a function. Then draw an arrow diagram. Your input set in this case is the attribute pieces and the output set, that's where A and B live, that can be described as your rule. Now in part C, sketch two or more circles and sort pieces into them based on a function rule that you create and challenge your partner to guess your rule and finish the sort. Notice that it says two or more circles. When you're using attribute pieces, you can easily have more than two circles when you're creating function rules. Now in part D, if a piece can go into more than one circle, your rule is not a function. Sketch two circles and define a sorting rule that's not a function. Let me give you an example. You see here, that I've defined large and red. So if my sorting rule is, is the piece large or red, then these large blue pieces would go here. These large yellow pieces would go here and everything seems okay. But when I pick this large red square, it goes into the large set it goes into the red group and therefore it's in both circles. So that means this rule is not a function because this red piece has the large output and the red output. It's not exactly one output. In contrast, if more than one piece can go into a circle, your rule may still be a function. Explain why this is the case. Think about our first picture and all the function rules you've defined. Why is it okay for there to be more than one piece in each circle? Now in number two, we're going to think about the function machine which is a great way to think about functions with kids. This function machine shows the outputs for four integer inputs. So our input set is integers here. And what is this rule? You can see here that negative 12 goes into the function machine and comes out even. Zero goes into the function machine and comes out even. 17 goes into the function machine and comes out odd. Negative three goes into the function machine and comes out odd. 
This is from a Teaching Children's Math article, which is a great journal for elementary school. In Part A, we want you to complete this input-output table by using the rule that we have. So minus 7, what's the output? And remember here, our outputs were either even or odd. So you would want to put that word here and then complete the table. And now, using the input set of whole numbers, so not integers anymore, no negatives, create a function rule using basic operations, so addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division, and write two input-output pairs in an input-output table. So you can put your whole numbers here at the top and then put a couple of outputs and ask a partner to guess your rule. Two may work. You may need to actually give them three pairs for them to really guess your rule. And then have your partner describe your function rule. That's it for Math Activity 9.3. I hope you have fun sorting attribute pieces and thinking about the beginning ideas of functions.